All right, so sorry about that. I had to finish this with a second video. So again, the trick I remember counterclockwise, um, you, the two Cs can make a Y if you really stretch it a little bit to look like that. So you know you make your Ys opposite. If it's clockwise, you just make your Xs opposite. So the last part of the video, I wanted to kind of state everything clearly down here now that we finally come up with the rules. So the coordinate rules, if it's 90 degrees clockwise, can someone tell me what the rule would be? So we're gonna go switch the Y and X, make X opposite. So let's write that down in words so you have it in your notes here. So let's write that again, switch X slash Y and make X's opposite. Opposite. Um, so, yeah. And then for 90 degrees, uh, for the 180, those were the easiest. So those, you just keep the X and Y in the same position. Make those the X opposite and the Y opposite. So we'll just say, uh, keep X slash Y and make both opposite. The last rule to write out is 90 degrees counterclockwise. Again, see those double C's and, you know, kind of curl them this way to make a Y. So now I know that I'm going to make Y opposite this time, and then the X. So I still switch them, make Y opposite. So I'll write that down. Switch X comma Y and Y and make Y's opposite. So uh, again, I know this is a long video reference, but I hope this helps you understand the rules a little better, and uh, we'll start practicing them uh, in just a moment.